For all your t-shirt needs, check out Tee Public's Killer Selection. Follow the link in the description. Hey, what's up, people? Pizzow here, and this is the Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth pinhead 12-inch figure from Mezco. I'm going to show you guys this figure in the box. I'm going to show you the box, and then I'm going to show you the figure outside of the box, and I'm going to take some up-close and personal um, video as well as pictures of this figure. But first, let's check out the... the figure inside the box and I apologize for the glare but there is Mr. Pinhead he is festooned inside the box here covered in plastic practically mummified to keep his evil uh, at bay but um, this is a very nice box I, I like how they they got all the sort of sides of the the lament configuration on the box I like how there's sort of you know these little pieces here these little flaps as if the box is opening and pinhead is is hanging out inside of it but there pinhead Hellraiser 3 hell on earth for ages 15 and up so luckily I meet those requirements there's the other side of the box bottom of the box with all the credits and what have you Mezco toys Miramax films this figure was produced in 2016 not a toy for children intended for adult collectors only top of the box and there you can see the top of pinhead's head here's the back of the box and what the uh, the figure looks like we've got a nice little write-up back here Deep from within the dimension of eternal torments comes the high priest of hell himself, Pinhead. We're bringing the leader of the Cenobites into our realm with an exquisite 12-inch figure as the cries of the damned rage loudly with anticipation. Pinhead's detailed portrait sculpture captures each grid scar and nail of his infamous visage, Looking into the eyes of the figure, one can almost feel the insatiable craving for souls. Great care has been paid to each detail of Pinhead's attire. His vestments perfectly capture the look from the legendary film. The flayed portions of Pinhead's flesh bear witness to his suffering with a realistic wet look finish. His sacred instruments, a trio of blades, dangle from his holy robes. Are you prepared for the rapturous torments that await? Now that's a write up. The rapturous torments that await. Nice. Nice. You you know whoever wrote that. After they wrote that, they 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 leaned back in their chair and they went, Yep. I did good. So uh <laughs> But yes, yes, and the figure looks very nice there according to the image on the back. Yeah. So why don't we go ahead and um, let's open this bad boy up and uh, let's take a look at him. All right, here is Pinhead inside his plastic sarcophagus. And already his, his weapons are flying out. His weapons are, are eager to, to carve and mutilate which I just checked that out there yeah it's painted to look nice and rusty serrated it's got a uh, wood like handle pretty cool put that right there here's another one of his weapons another sort of serrated blade saw thing I have no I mean I my goodness I, I can't even begin to imagine what um what this thing could do in the uh in the hands of the hell priest himself very nice and we got one more um it's kind of in there good we'll get to it momentarily let's go ahead 
Ooh. We'll put Pinhead aside for right now. And just kind of dump some of this stuff out. So we can take a look at it. Yeah, that's everything. Put that aside. Put that aside. Here is Pinhead's other weapon. Another serrated, nasty, dirty looking blade. I wonder how sharp these are. Oh! No, I'm kidding. It was it was a little sharp. Huh. Yeah, definitely not for kids. We have two interchangeable hands here to hold the the weapons. Let's see how easily they fit in the hands. Uh, not very <laughs> not very easy at all. Um, let's try another. Uh, yeah, so uh, these don't fit very well in these hands. Okay, we'll put that aside. Um, you can put um, the instruments on these little ropes on Pinhead's robe. They can hang there. If I can get it in, if I can get it on the rope. There we go. Weapons can hang there for easy, uh, you know, so you can easily reach them and start, you know, doing whatever somebody would do with an implement like that. Again, I, I don't even want to imagine. So we'll take that off for now. And of course, we have the puzzle box, the lament configuration right there. Pretty nice, nice and goldy looking, goldeny. Pretty nice, some nice detail there in the box. Yeah, cool. All right, so let's check out Pinhead himself. And uh, yeah, here he is, the high priest of hell himself. And look at those eyes. Just black, dead, evil, emotionless, just pitch black eyes. Check out the pins. Ooh, the pins feel like real pins. They feel metallic. They feel they feel pretty good. Yeah, and and just check out the 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 face sculpt there. That is definitely that's definitely Pinhead. That looks very very much like Doug Bradley in the Pinhead makeup. That's a very nice face sculpt for Pinhead, I do have to say. Mensco did a very good job with that. The, um, the this, <laughs> the torso with the, 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 the leather parts of um, Pinhead's Hell Priest robe look really nice. They do have that kind of, oops, hit the tripod. They do have that kind of wet, shiny kind of finish. Check out the, uh, his flesh there that's been hooked and pulled and yeah it's got kind of a shiny wet look to it too but really nice work on the face really nice work on the face let's check out the back yeah lots of detail there it looks really nice this looks very very nice <clears throat> a little thing there Got the hook, the hooks in the back pulling his his flesh down, giving him a uh, kind of a facelift. You know, Pinhead's gotta Pinhead's gotta stay looking good. You know, so a little bit of a facelift. <clears throat> yeah, let's check out his hands. Got those bloody fingertips. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, some some nice posability in the arms. Yeah, not bad. I keep hitting the tripod. I'm sorry. Some posability in in the arms and in the hands. Not bad. See about the head. Uh, not a lot of posability there with the head. Um, looks like you can maybe. Nope, that part's not going to be movable. So pretty much all the posability is going to be in the arms. Which isn't bad. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, and then when you get down here to the actual, the robe itself, um, this is just, this feels like just a hollow, solid piece of plastic. Um, which, there is some detail in the robe to make it look uh leathery to make it look like to, to, to give it some some kind of contours and dimensions um so I, I do appreciate that and of course you know if you wanted uh, a robe that's actually made of some sort of material uh, you know that's gonna up the price point on this figure pretty um pretty dramatically. And of course, you know, no legs or anything like that. But still, um, not bad at all. Not bad at all. I love the, I love that. I just, I think that's how I'm going to pose, Pinhead. Like, you know, come at me, bro. Come at me. So, yeah, put his little, his little tools, his, his implements there on his, on his, the string that's coming from, somewhere inside him and going through his his belly button there <clears throat> maybe put the box at his, at his feet and pose him like so i am the way yeah a very nice figure i have to say very very nice figure from mezco again the face i, I and i love the fact that they didn't do the typical you know, pinhead kind of snarl kind of look. He's just looking very, he's looking very pensive. Um, he's, he's thinking very deep, very, uh, very nasty, nasty thoughts. He's thinking about all the bad, awful things he wants to do to you. The torments, the pleasures, the the agonies he's thinking about all those things he wants to do to you as soon as you open the box time to play so yeah very nice face sculpt it looks very much like doug bradley i like the look i'm glad that they didn't go with that snarling kind of pinhead look i dig that the the upper torso with the leather part of the robe looks really nice lots of great detail in there in the front and in the back it's got that you know kind of shiny wet leathery look which is cool um the details here on his scarification is nice again you know wet nasty looking <clears throat> like the hands the bloody fingertips yes um, and, and, and even though the base is just, you know, solid, um, plastic, um, hollow feeling kind of plastic, um, nothing special there. Again, they did try to make it look as sort of, you know, uh, kind of like a material, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, not, not bad at all. And, and when it's, you know, when it is positioned, when it is placed wherever it's going to be placed in the collection um it's it's gonna look really really good so yeah this is just a really nice figure overall from uh mezco yeah definitely very very nice figure from mezco for hellraiser 3 hell on earth pinhead all right so i'll give you guys some up close and personal uh footage and pictures of mr pinhead here and um yeah, so stick around for that. If you like this video, please leave uh, leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. If you've not entered my 10K subscriber giveaway, in which I'm giving away a free $100 Amazon gift card, the new 8 movie um, Friday the 13th Blu-ray set, or your choice of a hand-painted hockey mask or horror shirt from my T Public store, Follow the link in the description and enter today. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care. And until next time, peace.
join the A Buck a Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Orc145626, Derek Janna, Richard Mead, Jeremiah Lambert, Craig Ferrand, Farron Sutton, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sobel, Terry Delamore, and Johnny Yeager. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.